The Child Abuse Prevention Center has a 39-year history of helping to keep our children safe. And with the holiday season approaching, many parents are going to be traveling with their infants. And so the center's taking it upon themselves to make sure that all parents watching know the proper way to put their child down to rest during the holiday season. And here to help us understand more and make sure that we're heeding this advice is Ashley Kelly with the center. So, uh, Ashley, tell us about the Safe Sleep Baby Program. What is this? So the Safe Sleep Baby Program is a program that we have at the Child Abuse Prevention Center. Um, basically, the program is all about putting your child's safety first when sleeping your baby. So it's really important to make sure that you're following the ABCs, which okay. is alone, back and crib, for safely sleeping a baby. Um, our program actually has about 22 different partners here in Sacramento County. Wow. We have um, eight of the hospitals in Sacramento County that are partnered with us. Um, we also have um, about a couple other um, nonprofits that are also partnered with us as well, all in um, trying to help um, you know save babies lives when they're when they're infants okay so. and why is it important that we have a program like this in place though it's very important because we want to make sure that we're reducing the risk of infant sleep related death mm -hmm. um, so especially within the african-american community um, we have a um, higher rate a two times higher rate um, in the african-american wow. community here in Sacramento County um, than any other community um, which is um, you know pretty devastating yeah. you know we have um, yeah we have about 11% mm -hmm. um, of um, our Sacramento baby population are African American babies mm -hmm. but we have over 50% of the <gasps> recorded deaths oh, um, for no. African American okay, babies. Okay well give some yeah. advice then let's help save some children. Yeah definitely. So you mentioned the ABCs mm -hmm. let's walk through that. Yeah so ABCs again that stands for alone back and crib so alone making sure that the baby is alone um, okay. sleeping alone so no co-sleeping with the baby something that we definitely do not suggest. Mm -hmm. um, back making, making sure the baby is um, on their back mm -hmm. when sleeping and then um, crib, of course, making sure the baby is in a either portable crib such as this, mm -hmm. a pack and play, um, a standard crib, mm -hmm. or a bassinet. Okay. So all right. So alone, because I know mm -hmm. that it, it's instinct for parents to want to give their child a blanket or stuff down when they sleep, but you're saying no. Yes, no, okay. no. Um, something we actually do suggest is uh, placing the baby in something like this, which is a uh, baby sleep sack. Okay. So um, these are actually uh, definitely recommended um, in place of a blanket. Okay. So um, blankets um, can usually be um, uh, hazardous in, okay. in the uh, safe, uh, in the sleeping area. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that again, the baby is alone on their back in their own crib. Um, and yeah, sleeping in something like this, um, such as a sleep sack, like I said, mm -hmm. or just in a short sleeve or long sleeve onesie, maybe some socks and that's about it. Okay. All right. So especially during the colder weather, yes. the sleep sack is a great option. You yes. mentioned the long sleeves. Don't worry about the blanket because yes. I imagine that can cause some, um, it can get wrapped around the child. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that can lead to some suffocation. suffocation. Mm -hmm. We want to avoid that. I imagine a similar situation with the stuffed animals as yes, well. Yeah. You never know when your child might bury their face into that. Yes. You're laying the baby down on the back. Now, I know there's a lot of parents watching going, oh, yes. they're worried because they're worried about the development of the cranium, right? Yes. A lot of people are concerned about the flat back of the head. Mm -hmm. But why is this more important? than worrying about the development of the child's back of the head. Well, it's more important for the baby sleeping directly on their back, mm -hmm. um, fully on their back versus on their side or on their stomach mm -hmm. because um, sometimes babies, they tend to spit up at night, um, yes. unbeknownst to the parents, of course. Um, so sometimes they spit up at night and if they're sleeping on their side of their stomach, that spit up um, can sometimes lead to um, suffocation, ingestion. Okay. Um, so we wanna make sure the baby's fully on their back because babies, as you know, when they're born, they have very, very heavy heads. Yes, their heads do. are about 25% of their actual body weight. Wow. <laughs> so, okay. um, so That's very like heavy. Ball. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So if the baby does spit up and they're on the side of their stomach, they may not be able to lift up their head to get enough air mm -hmm. and be able to, you know, roll over and maneuver to get that, that airway, um, um, going when they're, when they're okay. sleeping like that. Okay. So, so yeah. um, and then obviously we've kind of talked a little bit about this with the sleep blanket, but clothing plays a huge role when it yeah. comes to sleeping safely, right? Yes. Yes. We definitely want to make sure, especially here in the winter months, we want to make sure that we're not overdressing the baby. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know that can be sometimes easier said than done because we tend to think you know as adults that babies are somehow colder than we are um, but it's really important that the baby is in no more than one layer um, you know like we have here the baby's like in a, a long sleeve um, onesie and then maybe the a lighter uh, sleep sack over um, but that's really about it babies produce a lot of um, natural heat when they sleep so okay. they tend to get over little ovens they're yes. buns that just came out yes. of the oven and they're still hot exactly so you don't exactly. need to keep them too mm -hmm. warm okay yes <laughs> um, and then obviously we mentioned this at the top that it's a holiday season parents yeah. will be traveling with their infants yeah. There's going to be other people taking care of your baby besides just mom and dad. Yes. So this is information you need to share with other caregivers, right? Exactly. We want to make sure that everybody who's going to be caring for baby knows the safe way to sleep baby alone back okay. in crib. And where can our viewers go to make sure that they are following these ABCs and they can also yes. direct others to check it out? Yes. Yeah, so definitely
definitely, um, we have our website. It's uh, www.thecapcenter.org. Um, definitely can go there to get more information. We have our Safe Sleep Baby uh, video on that website as well. And then also we want to remind our viewers that uh, tomorrow is Giving Tuesday. Yes. And so um, we do have a donation on our website where you can donate uh, for Giving Tuesday.